One of the greatest tactics that Satan uses is to separate us from our strengths, and that is, in our strength is the power of the Holy Spirit. So if Satan can separate us from our strengths, he gets us to rely on man. And when he does that, he can divide and conquer, and that's what he does. When he separates us from the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, he can divide a family, he can divide friendships, he can divide nations, he can divide a church. Jude recognizes this fact and, and gives us an urgent warning. I want to take you to our scripture today in the book of Jude. Now, Jude's a fascinating letter, um, and, it's, and it's placed right, uh, right before the book of Revelation, right after uh, the third epistle of John. But I want you to go to Jude, and there's only one chapter, so when you say chapter 1, uh, it's really the only chapter in the entire book. But I'm going to read God's Word here. Jude uh, uh, chapter 1, verses 17 through 19, as I read God's Word. But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 18 how they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own ungodly lust. Verse 19, these are sensual persons who cause divisions not having the spirit. I want you to let verse 19 really uh, kind of seek in here, folks, because it is so profound uh, today here in the in the 21st century that that we that we are discipling in as we dissect this verse Jude gives us a a pretty harsh warning of things to come for people who will try to desperately to hinder your spiritual growth and that's what's going to happen it's usually people that are going to operate on their mere feelings in the last times you're going to see and you saw this and as Jude as a prelude to Re revelation there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires, or in this case, uh, it uses the term mockers. It depends on what translations you are. We are seeing that uh, truth just play out on so many fronts today uh, that you would think we were coming into the last times, and by no means am I predicting that. But look at what the verse says, who causes um, these divisions. Now, when you cause some things uh, to have divisions, what do you do? It can uh, Satan can divide, and, it's, it, and actually some translations will have the word divide, but man, we can go a lot of places with this. I'll just tell you guys, but these three words, uh, uh, who causes divisions. Now, Satan is really good at this, guys, and that's his job. He's been doing this for a long time, and he's got a lot of experience. So he has no problem. Uh, very, he can really cause divisions in your church, in your work, uh, in your home, in your state, your community. He can do that. He's been doing it for a lot of times. But the only, the only thing that can stop that is the power of the Holy Spirit. Because he, he can do this to a little church or a big church. It really doesn't matter. But if you notice that Satan uses false prophets to divide us and conquer. Now, in, military, in the military strategy world, if, and I don't care how good a unit that I'm attacking, okay? If I can isolate them away from their strengths and their their artillery, their their <laughs> their weapons, their 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 logistics. If I could separate a good unit from those things uh, in military parlay, that is called access denial. And sometimes that could be your communications. Uh, it can be uh, uh, your your ability to 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 grab satellites, and that's going to mess up your intelligence. Now. Uh, and the Russians and the Chinese, uh, they always fight to deny the U.S. military from access, okay, and access to our enablers, like, the, like I said, like the GPSs, the satellites, the communications. And, and if you can kind of target those things, uh, and they know that they can separate those things, uh, they have a chance to fight us. And that's exactly what Satan does in our lives. He knows that if he can separate us from the Holy Spirit of God, okay, he can divide us, then he can conquer us. He separates us from our enablers, and our enablers in this case is God's word and the, whole, the power of the Holy Spirit. 
And that's what he does. And this is what happens. And then what happens is we start relying on our instincts. We start relying on our emotions, okay? And then and then that then Satan can just come in there and just really just wreck havoc in your life and your family, okay? And then that's what the Holy Spirit, and then what happens is we get away from church, we get away from God's Word, we get away from prayer, and then the Holy Spirit is not strong in us. Now, if we're saved by His grace and and we, we have the Spirit, but His strengthening us depends on us. And I want everybody to kind of let what I just said sink in. His strength in us depends on us. Because I'll tell you guys, if we're not in this house, or we're not in this Word, or we're not in prayer, so if it, He can separate us from the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I want you to look at these four words here uh, in verse 19. It says, these are sensual persons. Okay, what does he mean by that? People who rely on instincts, mere natural instincts, instead of relying on the Holy Spirit. Satan has, um, uh, has, 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 he can, he can, he can reduce our power when we, when we blindly follow our natural instincts or other people or other prophets, and and we start relying on our feelings, folks. We, when we start using man's word as a replacement from God's word we get in a lot of trouble. Satan's using man's word, uh, man's word at all levels, trying to rewrite the gospel or dumb down our doctrine. And, you know, 2 Timothy 3.16 says, all scripture is what? Breathed, this book is breathed out by God, profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and for training righteousness. The way we keep unity and the way we keep together is by clinging to this precious word, this beautiful, precious word. And that, my brothers and sisters in Christ, is a bold word from a bold book. God bless you, friends, and go bold.